there, welcome and thank you so much for working out with me today. This is gonna be a sweat fest, 10 minutes really quick, just a little interjection of energy into your day. I'm your host, Stacey Summerow. I'm the host of the Called and Caffeinated podcast as well as a speaker and um, down of the Be Not Afraid conference. So welcome to my living room. Thanks so much for joining me. You don't need any equipment. I've included a quick one minute warm up, but not a cool down with this workout. So let's get the word into our workout and let's get started with a warm up. Let's get started by swinging our arms. Go ahead and just start moving your body. We're gonna take just a quick one minute here. So go ahead and start moving your legs. We're gonna be meditating today on 1 Corinthians chapter nine, verses 24 through 28. Now, this is an amazing, amazing verse. It's so perfect for an intense short workout. St. Paul says, do you not know that all runners in the stadium all run the race, but only one wins the prize? And then he says, run so as to win the race. Every, exer every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as though I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and I train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. Okay, go ahead and take a step back here. There's so much good stuff in there. So much good stuff about how we are running a race for an imperishable crown, right? And maybe today, you don't feel like you wanna be running the race. Maybe today, does that feel like a good day to be run the race? But you know what, we are in the stadium. <laughs> we are in here, the stadium is your life, and we are training today for discipline, not just of your, of your body, but also of your soul. All right, that was our quick one minute warm up. Let's go ahead and get into our workout. All right, we've got 10 minutes here, let's make it count. Don't give up on me, just keep going. Ready, here we go. Squat, kick. Really breathe. I want you to push that booty back as far as you can. Really feel your legs working in this, okay? So let's go back to our scripture here. We're just gonna stay here for a minute. The stadium is our life. We are in it. We may not be super motivated to be in it, but we have the choice to go ahead and decide that we are gonna run this race and we are gonna run it well. I know that when I start running, I don't love running, I'm more of a dancer by nature, but when I do run, if I think about my end goal, if I think about pushing myself as hard as I possibly can, I run completely differently. I start raising up on my toes, I start trying to, my whole posture changes, I get out of breath a lot faster, and I know that, and when we're pushing ourselves, when we're working, we are going to very quickly come into our own weaknesses. We're gonna become aware of all the ways in which we are not perfect. <laughs> but that's good. Go ahead and switch to high knees. It's good. Anytime that you have, you gain self-knowledge. Anytime you encounter your own weaknesses, that's an opportunity to train harder. That's an opportunity to open ourselves up to God. St. Paul says, every athlete exercises discipline in every way. The word discipline, now I'm holding my stomach here. If you need to go ahead and modify by just doing this, that is great. But if you can take it up a notch, I want you to do it. The word discipline comes from Latin, discipulus, which means student. We are a student here, student of life. We should always be seeking to learn and to grow. For that imperishable crown. All right, here we go. Just a couple more seconds. Then we're going to switch into a shuffle and a burpee. Ready? Here we go. I'm already out of breath. Shuffle and we're bring it down. Think about where all of this discipline is leading. In order to be a discipulus, a student, we have to be willing to learn. We have to be receptive, open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. We have to be willing to let God do more with us than perhaps what we're comfortable with. And I find any time I open myself up to the Lord and I say, Lord, I surrender. I want to be your disciple. I want to walk through this life, bring the race of you beside me. And he does that. 
He'll come to you. He'll give you himself. It starts right here. I do not want you to give up on me here. All right, next we're moving to an exercise on the floor. Here we go. Go ahead and have a seat. You can sit on a mat if you want to. Do it a twist, kick. Twist, kick. Now, of course, there's a way to do this. Cheating. There's a way to do it right. <laughs> Start to lean back as far as you can go. Really feel that core engage. What's the imperishable crown that we are working for? St. Paul says elsewhere in scripture, we have no idea the glory that will be revealed in us. We can't see it here. Every suffering, everything that you're going through right this minute, when your muscles are screaming, is nothing compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. All right, fantastic. You guys are doing awesome. Stick with me here. All right, so let's switch. You do a backward kick. Look where you're kicking. Kick as high as you can. You're gonna stay here for 30 seconds. Keep breathing. Now I'm leaning forward, and I'm really imagining myself kicking. So, we do not fight as though we're shadow boxing, which is a funny thing to say, because shadow boxing can be really difficult. I think it's funny that St. Paul thinks it's for losers. <laughs> You can actually find kickboxing workouts to be pretty difficult. Let's do switch sides. Here we go. 30 seconds with the other leg. You're really tightening those muscles. You're using your stomach even for this exercise. Imagine that you really are kicking against a hard wall. Training your body, not just shadow boxing. <laughs> but really, truly training yourself. All right, we're halfway there. We're gonna do, next one is crisscross jump. Crisscross jump. Now the modification for this is if you need, you can step in this way. But if you can, I want you to take it up a notch. I know I'm already breathing pretty hard. In our verse today, St. Paul says, I fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. Maybe you're a busy mom like me, and you're ministering to other people all the time. Or maybe you're serving other people in some area of life. I'm gonna take a quick minute to breathe here. More than halfway there. All right, come on down for our tricep dips. Maybe this is your time to take care of yourself, to tune into your own soul, to let the word and your workout train you and refresh you and renew you. Now with these tricep dips, let your elbows go behind your body, okay? None of this cheating stuff. It's actually harder to cheat for these for some reason. Hold your stomach in for this one too. So when you run, don't let yourself be disqualified by serving to others and getting nothing back. You're doing something good for yourself here. I'm proud of you. I know God is proud of you for taking this time to discipline your body. All right, next exercise coming right up. We're gonna do a plank. To an alternating arm raise, just like this. Ooh, I'm feeling that in the triceps. Go ahead and give me a plank. These 10 minutes, we're making them count. You're doing something amazing for yourself. Your body's gonna thank you for it. And this is the beginning of the discipline that lasts all the rest of your day. Trying to keep your body in a straight line. I know there's a temptation to let your body come up, but keep it in a good straight line. We are almost there. Then we have two exercises after this. Where do you need to discipline yourself after this is over? 
Where are you going to be a discipulus, a student in life? Where do you need training in virtue? I can think of a lot of areas in my own life where I need training, I need discipline. So we're gonna do a jump to one side, punch three times. One, two, three. Jump, one, two, three. If you need to step to save your knees, that's a-okay. Now here we are shadow boxing. But I'm putting my full intention into it. Whenever I think of punching, I think of punching the devil or those things that are getting in the way of me living a life that's holy and pleasing to God. Keep going. Feel the music. We're almost there. And then we have only one more exercise. All right, here we go. Final exercise. We're gonna go ahead on the ground. Now this is a little challenging. Move my arms down here. We're gonna do red leg, leg <laughs> raising and lowering. Really keep breathing. Say to yourself, run so as to win the race. Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly. Do it for the Lord. Do it because you are good and you are worthy. God has designed you worthy of that imperishable crown. St. Paul says, live in a manner of the word calling worthy. Blah. I can't talk. <laughs> live <laughs> in such a way that is worthy of the calling that you have received. The calling we have received is the eternal reward being with the Lord. And we are done. Woo. You've completed your workout today. I'm proud of you for doing something good for yourself. Let this be the first good choice of many for the rest of your day here. Take what you've just done, something so good, let that break, let that bleed out into the rest of your life. Let every one of your choices stay be good. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more workouts like this. Please leave a comment below and make sure you click the bell so you get all the notifications. Thank you so much. God bless you.